I think what makes the Dutch 17th century so extraordinary is the rise of a collecting class who wanted to depict and hang in their own home images of their own world. The artists of this time were able to reflect how beautiful they were through technique. And so a humble everyday object like a water jug is raised to a new level through refined paint handling, slow technique, and attention to detail, the likes of which European painting hadn't yet seen. In January, Sotheby's is going to be selling the collection of Tai Schumann. Tai put together these 12 paintings over a period of 25 to 30 years, all of which were bought from the esteemed dealer Otto Naumann. What makes this collection, I think, so incredible is the extremely high taste, the attention to detail, the attention to great condition by some of the greatest names of the Dutch Golden Age, and to have an entire collection of that standard is extremely rare. It offers, in each and every instance, an example of these incredible artists creating a new language. This is a new way of showing the real world, whether it's the cityscape by Jan van der Heiden, which shows minutely rendered bricks on a building within Amsterdam, or the waves crashing in the small, very jewel-like picture by Willem van der Velde, or the incredibly mysterious, moonlit marsh scene by Art Vandernier. Every one of these paintings offers something different. And in this collection, each of those subgenres are represented by the top artists from that field. My favorite is the gorgeous small masterpiece by Franz von Mieris. Painted in 1667, Van Mieris was one of the leading exponents of what's called the fine shoulder school. That is literally translated to the fine painters that focused on jewel-like brushless technique. This was the painting equivalent to jewelry, to diamonds. Van Mieris here paints with a single whisker brush and his ability to show a variety of material, whether it's ermine, velvet, candlelight is a tour de force of technique in beautiful condition and one of the last remaining great examples of this type in private hands. You have here a collection that shows what patience uh, and very high standards can achieve. 12 pictures of the highest quality, pristine condition by some of the greatest exponents of their genres uh, of the 17th century.